We're all familiar with these crooked fly-by-night companies that freeze people's heads with the idea that maybe someday there'll be technology that will bring them back to life. What's going to become all these heads when these companies go out of business? Are they going to end up in some government auction somewhere? Somebody is going to end up owning these collections of heads. And what are they going to do with them? Will they be able to do anything with them? And what other projects will they be working on? Whose heads are they? Will there be somebody who doesn't want these heads messed with? Well, Greg Bear covered it 